player in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make this football snack helmet so it's just a it's not quick it actually takes a couple of days to do but it's just an idea for like a Super Bowl party or whatever so for this I'm actually going to start off using a plastic bowl which is coloured in cling film and I'm just going to put a line down the middle and pretty much mark out the rough shape of a helmet Originally I did want to do this with balloons because you can make a bigger helmet that way so I'm going to have to re-film this in the future and do it with the things I was going to do it with but because I'm in lockdown at the moment I've got very limited things I could make this out of but I wanted to make one for Super Bowl so I thought I'll find a way so this is just a plastic bowl that you've seen in another tutorial that I've actually just reused and I'm going to paper mache over this so I've just cut up some newspaper and I'm going to use um, PVA glue mixed with water, two parts of glue to one part water to cover this. You're going to need a few layers of this because you want it to be nice and thick um, so it's nice and sturdy because you want it to hold your snacks. So you basically cover the bowl where the helmet's going to be so not around the front um, that open bit at the front and you want to leave a hole at the top and then you want to leave it for like a day to dry out I like say you're going to need a few layers for this but again because of lockdown and stuff I actually didn't have that much newspaper I ran out so I had to use some plaster cast bandage which I had left over from the Bray Wyatt lantern tutorial See, I'm using leftovers from things because I just don't have the supplies at the moment. Um, so I've done a layer of this as well. I would have rather just done paper mache because that leaves a smoother surface at the end. This leaves a kind of like bubbled effect and I couldn't get it perfectly flat. This is what it looks like when it's dried. I popped it off the um, bowl and because I covered it in the plastic wrap it popped off quite easily. I'm just going to trim up the ends, make them so they're nice and neat before I do more to it. Then I've got um, some cardboard. I'm just going to draw around the bottom of the helmet. This is just going to create the base. So you can put a bowl on the inside. So I'm going to carefully draw around that so I've got the right shape for the inside of the helmet. As you can see this helmet weren't a very rounded shape by the time I'd have taken it off the bowl. Like I say if you use a balloon to do this instead of the bowl you can make a lot bigger one and obviously fit more snacks in it. Okay so when I've done the outline of that I'm then going to draw um, like another half circle bit on the front um, where the face guard would um, stick out on the helmet. So you want it to stick out a bit so you can get your hand in there nicely to get those treats. Not worth having a snack helmet if you can't actually get access to the sweets that easily. When you want to cut it out, then we're just going to glue this to the bottom. I'm just going to use a hot glue gun for this. And I'm just going to slowly stick it on. I'm going to start with one side. Just stick down a little bit of it. Hold it in place for a few seconds until it dries then I'll do the next bit because I find if I was to do it all at once by the time I've got it in place the bit I started with has already dried and gone hard so I like to do it bits at a time so just take it nice and slow and stick that to the helmet once you've done that you want to make the face guard so for this you're going to need to measure um, how long you want it so you're going to start from a bit onto the helmet and then all the way around the front and a couple of centimetres on the other side as well then I'm get some grease proof paper and I'm going to basically draw the face guard if that's what it's called, I don't know what the grid bit that's on the front of the mask not quite sure what it's called <laughs> Um, yeah, so mine was about 30 centimetres, so I drew one line across.
across which is going to be the bottom of it so I'm going to draw another line above it another line closer to that I'm going to round off the edges put some lines down connecting each of them and then I'm going to use my hot glue gun and I'm literally going to trace all these lines I just drew and this will create the face cut or whatever it's called so take your time, do nice thick lines mines were kind of shaky so they came out a bit wobbly but if you take your time you can get a nice straight line and then just leave that to dry, it literally takes a few seconds not long at all and then when that's dry it literally just peels off the paper and then you've got the face guard like I say, this is like really wobbly <laughs> So you want to then like kind of peel off all the little stringy bits of glue that appear when you use a glue gun just to neaten it up and then we're going to attach this to the front so basically you're going to use the glue gun again and just glue it along the bottom edge and then at the sides to the helmet again start off slowly in the middle doing little bits at a time because this is um, hot glue it actually it bends nicely so um, you don't have to worry about the breaking it as you bend it around the front this is what it looks like it's a bit on the wonk but not too bad <laughs> and we're going to paint it now so I'm going to just spray paint this silver because I can't bother to wait for acrylic paint to dry um, cause I've been waiting for so many of these like other things to dry all the time I'm just quite impatient so I'm using spray paint, you can use whatever paint you want I used acrylic paint for the actual detail you, poster paint would work on this as well if you did do paper mache though you might want to start by painting it white before you add um, the layers of colour this is what it looks like the start is quite wonky and quite bad I know um, so I made these little trays you can actually get them in party shops um, for like um, little party bowls and things but again because I locked down I couldn't go and get some so I just quickly made some up they literally just cardboard and I covered them in aluminum foil aluminium foil what did I say aluminium for? <laughs> aluminium I'm English <laughs> so basically the bowl for the top I just drew around and then from the centre I'm going to cut out, or not cut out, just slice from the centre out to wherever that line is where I draw around the bowl and it's going to create the hole for it to sit in I was going to cut out a, um, the complete round shape but I thought with this, just bending these bits over after I've cut them it will actually hold it in place a bit more as well rather than just having a hole in the top so once that's done I just pop the bowl in the top and that's done that's ready for your little treats and then you can like I say you can stick another bowl at the bottom or a little tray or something and then that's ready and you're done I know it doesn't look great but we'll be doing this again in the future which hopefully will look a little bit better and it will be a bit bigger as well so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, see you in my next video, bye!